The 1990s were a magical time for Honda and Acura. Everything from the mighty NSX to the lowliest Civic was a Vulcan mind meld of man and machine during these golden years. So far in the 21st century, though, Honda seems to have lost its ability to imbue every single model with that kind of allure, and in the court of fandom there is no greater sin than having something once beloved and perfect and turning it lame. When we first reviewed the third generation Honda Fit, it seemed like more of the same. It was less of a driver's car than the outgoing iteration, with a neutered suspension setup and numb steering in the name of comfort. Its other attributes, like in-car technology and clever packaging, helped make up the difference, but we couldn't help but feel let down. With its 2018 refresh, however, Honda got some of its mojo back. As with any mid-generation update, the Fit receives some styling changes. Chief among them is a redesigned face that exaggerates the fog lamp surrounds, redraws the central intake opening, and adds a shiny swath of chrome across the grille. The lower rear bumper has been reshaped and is now rounder and protruding. Honda designers said they wanted to make the car look lower and wider, but to our eyes it really just looks busier. The pre-face lift design was cohesive and cute, like a spunky little Star Wars droid. Now there's angles and curves that don't work with the rest of the body. Two new colors are offered, Ilios Yellow and the unfortunately named Fury Orange, the latter of which appears to be the exclusive color used on the Japanese